Hi, Ni I'm Chef Tam. I'm going to show you how to make a home. Simple wonton soup. So delicious. Let's start it. Making simple wonton soup. You need the wonton wrapper. Get at the grocery store. If you cannot find wonton wrapper, sometimes they have the egg roll wrapper. Just cut it quarterly like this. I'm going to show you how to do it. Here I got some bok choy. Chop it up, mushroom and green onion. This is the boneless skinless chicken breast. Or you can use ground chicken. So basically, I don't want to season it besides just salt, pepper, Just a little bit of sesame oil. Like this. You don't want to add soy sauce. Otherwise it will turn into like dark. When you wrap into the wrapper, it will just not beautiful color. This is the best. <sighs> Salt, pepper, and sesame oil. Get them up nicely chopped. Very easy, simple way to make wonton soup at home. Especially when the cold weather warm up your heart. And chicken broth, right? Let's talk about some chicken broth. Halloween is coming up. Thanksgiving too. So turkey, bone, bone marrow, big pot, water in, simmer, cook for like hour, hour and a half to two hours. You know, you can add some mayo broth, like celery, onion, carrot, some herb, mm. and you extract all the flavor out. And the broth, let it cool up, and get a really strong zip back. You know, zip back, really strong one. You can fill up and freeze it, and you can use it all the time. All right, let's get back to our one ton. All right. Knife. You're just gonna apply very little. Apply the chicken, ground chicken, like this, okay? And then just follow like this. Form a triangle, fill up, and then you uh, add some water. I prefer egg, beaten egg, if you have some. And then just roll it over like this and seal. Seal it really good. Get it a nice press. The reason you apply the ground meat chicken on the one time, look, the meat will not fall off, right? If the meat will not fall off when you cook it, it will not break it apart. You see like this, you just squeeze the meat, kind of get them a gently press, and then go like this. Just roll over, use your thumb and your index finger, just roll over. And just make sure you seal it really good, okay? The idea is we don't want the, the one ton feeling to come out. Like this. Oh, if you want to feel the meat in the middle of the wrapper and you want to seal the edging, okay too. Because I think the water was sealed. I never use water, but this is a experience, right? If I don't have to waste the uh, beaten egg. So what are you going to do with the extra meat that you have? That smells so good, the uh, sesame oil. Sesame oil always just apply a little bit. Don't put too much because they're very strong, very strong smell. If your feeling is too much, take some out, you know, like this. Ooh, this one, it's okay. Go like 
this almost done okay this one is dried out a little bit because let's talk about the this is made from egg and flour right if you let them air out too long they will dry it out what we're gonna do when we dry out apply some warm temperature and then a little more let's seal it have the kids get involved do this okay now we're gonna cook the wonton I have a pot of just simple water or you can use chicken stock and I want to let the broth bring up to a boiling point like this and then I just simply gonna add the wonton in give them a quick stir so they're not stick at the bottom of your pants or they stick together and then Remember, there's a leftover ground meat chicken with seasoned salt, pepper, and sesame oil. I can use it to making a beautiful, delicious chicken broth. And here, we want to make sure the water is not over hot, okay? If the water boiling point too hot, it might easy to break the wonton filling apart. See the extra protein, why not? Okay. And then, I need a new spoon. I'm gonna add some ginger garlic and hot chili, why not? See, the water is getting too hot now. Turn it down a little bit, like this. That's why we have that temperature adjuster for you, okay? And then, we're gonna add our bok choy in. And the mushroom, green onion. Oh, you wanna garnish the green onion, it's fine too. Now, we're gonna add a pinch of salt to taste. More pepper. And sesame oil. The soup will be so clean and delicious. How do you know the one time is done? Well, there's two ways. One, after you're done cooking the wonton, cut one open, make sure the filling is cooked. Or, usually, the wonton, just like a dumpling, they were floating on the top of your soup. And then, you let them cook three to four more minutes, it should be done. See, now the wonton is floating up. I mean, they're almost done. Now it's not a bad idea to give the soup a try. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Sometimes you don't need the chicken broth to make. This is just as delicious. Alright, now the one time is floating the top, maybe uh, two to three minutes.